Hi, my name is Melinda. I'm a Sephora squad member here in Los Angeles, and today I'm going to show you this wavy hair look. Let's get started. So to begin, you want to prep your hair with a heat protection spray. I'm gonna be using the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Heat Styling Spray. I love this because it's super easy and you're protecting your investment. I mean, whether you're putting dye in your hair or you're just spending a good amount of time styling it, this is really important. My hair is pretty fine, but I have quite a bit of it. So I got a lot to work with, but it tends to be really flat. So my goal with this look is to get a lot of texture and volume. And I think the waver that we're gonna use is gonna do an awesome job of that. So you're gonna wanna spray from root to tip with this and make sure you're really saturating all of your hair. You can section it out so that you are really sure about it. I'm just lazy but this gets the job done. Okay, so now for the star of the show, this is the Amica High Tide Deep Waver. I'm gonna get into this in a second, but to get started, I'm just gonna hit the power on button. I like to go a little bit hotter. I'm gonna go to like 380, which is almost the max, but not quite. I like to keep it really hot so that you clamp down for less time versus more and you can just get through really quickly. In order to work on my hair, I'm gonna put it into two sections just cause I have quite a bit. So I'm sectioning it just down the middle. This doesn't have to be perfect really because you're just gonna put it back down as long as you have a relatively clean line. And I'm just wrapping it around on top and I'm gonna take a little dry bar clip to secure. Okay, once you have your hair sectioned in half, you're gonna wanna grab a few inches worth of hair in order to clamp at once. So I'm grabbing my waver tool so you're gonna start at the top, close to the root, but not all the way. Just be mindful of, you know, the heat on your skin and hands. So I'm letting it clamp at the top for a few seconds. And then you'll lift, and you can just work your way down and clamp, and lift, move your way down. This makes it really easy, because you're not starting over each time. You can just work your way down. And the last piece and you got some waves. Okay, so now I'm just gonna repeat the same steps all the way around for the bottom layer. Okay, I'm very impressed. I mean, I've used the tool before, but every time I play with it, I'm just like, wow, this is so fun. Um, so I'm gonna take down the top section and get started up here. So I have actually quite a bit of hair up top here, so I'm gonna actually add one more section just so I can get those really defined curls or waves rather, and they stick. Because if you put too much hair in there at once, not only can it be damaging, because you're putting a lot of heat on the top layer of hair while the inside layers aren't really getting the wave, but it won't stick. You won't get like that de definition like you can see down here. So just sectioning it out a little bit further. And I'm gonna start in the front here again with my waver tool. Again, you don't wanna to get too close to the root. You can leave that as is. I'm loving this tool because it's super lightweight. It's not hard to handle. I don't do enough push-ups, so sometimes my arms get sore when I'm styling my hair. This is really easy to handle. Also, when you're clamping down and then you lift to move on to the next section, the tool like naturally finds the next section for you because you've created a wave in your hair, so it just places itself down. It's a lot easier than using like a straightening iron to kind of create waves or a curling iron. This does it all for you. Okay. Okay, I'm obsessed. This is like all the mermaid vibes. I'm gonna finish my last layer up top, so I'm just gonna take this down. So like I mentioned, I want a lot of texture and like kind of grit to this hair. I wanna add some volume and a texturizing spray will help with that a lot. My favorite right now is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Soft Texture Finishing Spray. Now I love this stuff. So you're gonna take this spray, shake it up a little bit. You're gonna go like mid shaft to tips. And I just kind of lift as I spray. You're gonna work your way all the way around. So now on the other side, and you'll see in a second what this does. 
So once you have that sprayed throughout your hair, just zhuzh a little bit and work it in. And you can already see the amount of texture and lift that I'm getting. It just gives it so much more oomph. So I'm gonna be using my Kitsch three piece. This is the pearl and iridescent bobby pins. I think I'm just gonna use the top and bottom iridescent ones. They pick up on the purple in my top. So let's see what they look like. Okay, I'm gonna take my first clip and I'm just gonna put it right between two of the waves. You can see that my hair kind of indents here. Cause that way, I still have the volume at top from this wave, which looks super cute. And then you can see it kind of bubble out on the bottom. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Same placement, just between the two waves at the top. Pushing that in. And then check a little for symmetry. I think that's pretty good. Cute. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I love this tool. I hope you try it out. Let me know in the comments below if you do. And I'll see you next time. Bye.